Hi everyone, I'm Mike and this is the Sunday Art Show. This week's painting is inspired by this beautifully coloured sky uh, near the River X in Devon. And you can see lots of magentas and blues and purples and even a touch of yellow in that winter sky. And then the other inspiration was a bicycle ride I took around about three and a half years ago uh, from the centre of Exeter along the canal into a field so this is now a beautiful summer's day, of course, so in, you know, something of a contrast to the colourful sky we just saw. You can see lots of people out and about. It's a very different season, but near this cycle path was this herd of steer. Uh, lots of different colours and a guy here having a munch on the tree, right, but right next to the cycle path. So, you know, great subjects for uh, painting. So I thought I would combine the colourful sky and the cattle and see what I could come up with. Now last week, you may remember, I did two paintings at once of uh, two Tasmanian devils. So I thought I'd try a similar technique. I've got two A4 sheets of mixed media paper. And as you can see, I'm blasting colours uh, of loose washes of watercolour across both pieces of paper at the same time, lifting off certain areas with the paper towel. And then having let that first layer dry, I'm coming in with some of the darker purples to create that kind of wintry, cloudy sky that you saw at the start of the video. A quick spritz with the water spray bottle and then I, I let everything dry. Having done that, I used uh, a, a grey watercolour marker pen to outline a few cattle kind of wandering through the sky. So you may remember a few months ago I did a painting similar to this on, on a rather larger scale, but it was all acrylic and they were belted Galloway cattle. But this time what I wanted to do was have the cattle kind of be more part of the clouds. So letting the colouring in the sky, you know, kind of leaving some of that exposed even within the outline of the animal. So I've done uh, three cattle on the left and I've started to do three cattle on the right. But you can see the one I'm working on at the moment didn't come out all that well. So I thought, oh well, I'll just focus on the left hand painting for now. And switch to using interactive acrylic so I've simply mixed up some carbon black and titanium white to give me a mid grey and I'm selectively adding bits of shadows in. Now you can see the right hand steer I've only really included the head and then it just turns into sky and I'm leaving the purple and the purpley blue coming through within the outline of the main cow that I'm working on at the moment. What I'm doing right the second though is just adding a hint of cast shadow so this, this painting is designed to be somewhat surreal. You know, we're not really sure what's going on. Um, these colours are just kind of merging with the animals. Are the animals transparent? Are they wandering through the sky? You know, you know what's going on? And I should mention I put a little burst of yellow down the bottom there as well. So that just to kind of anchor the, the cattle to something reasonably solid. Having done that for all three of these animals on the left hand painting, I've then switched to just some pure titanium white on a slightly smaller flat synthetic brush and I'm just softening some of the outlines that I, I did with the watercolour marker pen and also adding some highlights with that pure white. So the idea is to have you know, these quite bold and loose and vibrant colours in the sky and then contrast the treatment of the sky with the treatment of the cattle which are just for the most part in monochrome apart from, you know, apart from as I said the bits of sky showing through. So breaking up the outline of, of, the, of the animals, that helps to let them merge into the sky. And, you know, generally speaking, I try to avoid a solid outline. Even if I start off that way, as I have here, I'll generally speaking break it up, either quite literally by putting a break in the line or simply by changing the colour of the outline. So different parts of the outline have different colours as you work your way around the animal. And having done that, I'm now adding a little bit of a larger patch of, of highlight on this, this what, I'm call, what I'm calling the main animal. It's the, cent, it's the central animal, really. So these cattle have been depicted now, now that I've broken things up and added the highlights in. They're really just patches of tone, almost. There's not really much of a drawing there. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like they're appearing out of the sky, perhaps. And I'm giving a similar treatment now to that right-hand head. 
just to soften some of the outlines. So again, it's it, they're just shapes appearing out of the clouds. So this left-hand painting, you know, I don't think there's too much more to do to that one. I think it's worked quite effectively. The right-hand one, I've actually ended up obliterating the that far right cow with some white titanium white acrylic paint. And then I started working on these other two cows, but um, I'll come back to those another day, I think. So I'm going to take the tape off of these two and see what they look like. So there's the, the left-hand one. And uh, there's the right hand one with the tape off. And as I said, I'll come back to this one on another day and I'll probably have to give the cows a rather different treatment to what I've done on the left here. But let's take a closer look at the left. So I'm going to call this finished painting Cloudy with a Chance of Cattle. As usual, I'll put a link in the description below the video so you can link through to my website and check out the image in high resolution if you want to. You can zoom in at different, on different parts of the painting. Uh, in the meantime, though, I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of the Sunday Art Show. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching.